welcome to Today on the Green. We're your hosts, I'm Bridget, and that's Evie. Happy Thursday, and today is Camo Thursday! Yay! What do you mean? Today's a dress day? Yeah, it's Camo Thursday, well, like I, I just said. I couldn't see anything. What? Get it? Oh, camo. yeah, no, the can't camo. see. No, I, I got it. Like when you're hunting, you have to no. be invisible. You yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Like John Cena. Good joke. You can't see me! That's good. good. Very, very nice, very nice. Moving on, today was a House of Reps meeting, so here's Madison to fill you in. Today, there was a House of Reps meeting during intervention. Quite a few things were discussed and announced during the monthly meeting. The school has announced that they will be removing two of the older vending machines from campus. During the meeting, there was a discussion on the different ways the school shares information, including posters, social media, and the announcements, and the students talked about which of these methods is most effective in reaching more students. Also, a cool idea came up during the meeting about having the school make more school dances accessible by providing transportation to places further, like homecoming and prom. Hopefully more changes will be made throughout the end of the school year to benefit the students. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Madison. I guess TikTok and Instagram are fighting? Once again, so here's Nitty. Instagram created its real feature in 2020 to compete with TikTok's rise in popularity. And now TikTok appears to be prepping to launch a photo and text app to compete with Instagram. The new app, TikTok Notes, is said to likely include all existing captioning features of TikTok, allowing a much wider design spectrum than Instagram. Additionally, it will enable TikTok's photo app to remain alongside its video application. Furthermore, users will be able to post on TikTok Notes without leaving the current TikTok app, adding more hours of presence on the platform and revenue. Instagram better be prepared for fierce competition. And now here's one more thing for us to procrastinate on. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nitty. So, Evie, yes. whose side are you on? Instagram or TikTok? Mm, well, I use Instagram more. I like Instagram. What about TikTok? What? I, it's, yeah, it's, What's it's wrong not, with TikTok, huh? There's nothing wrong. I just, it's See, okay. now this is the real lesson. We're so corrupted by social media that we're putting these two platforms up against each other. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Right? Stop the fighting. It's all the same. Stop being on your phone all the time. Anyway, yesterday we mentioned that Bonita's production of Mamma Mia is going through Tech Week. Still the first week of Tech Week, but yep. we're making it along. So here's some photos that you can check out. That looks really cool, and we're still in the early stages yes. of production, but it's making its way along. And if you look at the BHS Theater Instagram, you can see even more behind the scenes every single weekday with yes. the takeovers that are happening from the crew and the cast. Yeah, and if you think that looks cool, looks even cooler in person. Oh yeah. So you should, I don't know, buy tickets. Buy tickets for the 26th or maybe the 27th or the 28th. 28th. Who knows? And that concludes today's episode of Today on the Green. Come back tomorrow to see what happens today on the green tomorrow! tomorrow.